He should never have been shot. Like especially in broad daylight, especially where at his family home where his daughter and, and wife reside. On Wednesday morning, criminal defence lawyer Mahmoud Abbas was preparing to go to work when he was shot in the driveway of his home in southwest Sydney. He was one of five people shot in just five days. Other than in movies or John Grisham books, I don't think I've ever heard of this happening. His firm has described him as, quote, one of the go-to lawyers in extremely serious criminal cases, having appeared in some of the country's most notorious matters. Uh, look, I won't really make any comment on that. Um, at this stage, it's an allegation and everyone's entitled to um, you know, the right to silence and the presumptions of innocence. His friend, Ahmed Dib, also runs a criminal law practice in Sydney, representing high-profile clients of his own. Some of those clients are accused killers, while others have met violent ends. On foot right now, I think our firm has four or five different murder trials running simultaneously. Don't want to discuss too much into terms of clients that I've had killed, but I think a lot of law firms have had clients that they've represented have been killed. I think our count was almost seven. You've had seven clients killed? Yes. The pair has known each other for five years, and they have more in common than their jobs. We've got the same religion, same nationality, so background. Um, he has a very young family, as do I. Um, so we used to often show photos of our kids and FaceTime one another when we were with each other with our daughters. Um, so I, I think friendship just naturally develops over time. Do you have any sense at all of what might have been behind this shooting? No, not at all. Um, Mahmoud Abbas, I told you, was a law-abiding, um, educated family man. He's a person who just left his family home while his child's sitting at, at home. Um, getting the car with paperwork, clearly obviously going to the office. Um, so for this to occur, uh, it, it's, I'm speechless. I don't know how to answer that question. I don't think police know how to answer that question quite yet. It's a brazen, violent act with a clear intent to murder someone. We don't know whether it's related to Mr Abbas's occupation uh, or whether it's a, an, another reason. Um, I'm confident we'll get to the bottom of that motivation, uh, but I think it's you know, taking that person's occupation, I don't think um, is what I would want to focus on, it's about the act itself. Last year, an underworld figure was shot dead in the same street where Mahmoud Abbas lives. There's no suggestion those attacks are connected. The lawyer's shooting came days after another in Greenacre, a few streets over. 7.30 spoke to worried residents late last week. At the moment, I'm scared, honestly. I'm worried for Greenacre, because it's such a lovely place to live in, you know, but recently the shootings have just been frightening. I mean, I feel powerless. Uh, it's very sad. Um, I mean, the police can only do so much. Most of the time, people don't want to assist. You know, there's a bit of a culture of, of if you speak with, to, the, to the authorities, you'll be labelled. And, um, and you can't get around that. Sydney's become the Bronx of the New York, you know, um, and, and, and no one cares anymore. Mo Aliatim runs a boxing gym nearby. He's lived in the area for 13 years and says the violence is out of control. There's no more rules. And that's the, that's the sad thing about it. Growing up myself, um, you know, we, we grew up tough on the streets, but there were rules. This photograph shows another shooting crime scene from last week in the nearby suburb of Canterbury. The terrifying um, situation that's happening is when kids walk past a dead body on the road. We shouldn't, they shouldn't be seeing this. No one should be seeing this. Mahmoud Abbas's shooting is being investigated by police as part of a new task force. It's delving into a string of attacks dating back to late June and the killing of the crime figure Alan Maradian at Bondi Junction. Police say they're treating these shootings as linked until proven otherwise. We have some very strong and significant leads in a number of these investigations, um, which gives me comfort given that you know, the task force really only commenced work uh, on Friday. Detective Chief Superintendent Jason Weinstein, who is heading the new task force Magnus, says police will door knock 150 targets in the coming weeks. What this is about is about a dedicated uh, group of individuals whose sole focus now is on those people. And those people will start to feel the pressure. Is this revenge motivated or is this about the commercial supply of drugs? 
core of all this um, is around drugs. It, it's about money. At this point in time, we believe that some of these uh, matters are tit for tat, but we don't really at the moment fully understand the full motivation behind all of them. New South Wales Police Minister Yasmin Catley has described the ongoing violence as absolutely intolerable. We must act to catch these crooks, get them off our streets, prosecute them and put them behind bars. I want to assure the people of New South Wales that the New South Wales Police Force will do exactly that. The Minister has announced funding for a new team dedicated to seizing criminal assets and the government is in talks with police about extra powers. I don't want to go into what those conversations are naturally, um, but you know, I guess I would say that we have some of the strongest powers in Australia in com combating organised crime. The minister was unavailable for an interview, but told 7.30 in a statement, both the Premier and I have made it clear that if police say they need additional resources or changes to legislation, the government will act on any such requests. I feel it. it's in my backyard. Um, I'm proud to be. I'm proud, I'm proud to live where I live. Ahmed Dib, who lives one suburb over from where his friend was shot, says the violence isn't contained to southwest Sydney. There's been shootings in the city. There have been shootings out in the east. Uh, so there needs to be a stop, and people need to stop thinking that it's isolated to the west and the west alone, because it really isn't. Eventually, it's going to spill into different areas, uh, and it's going to be in everyone's backyard.